guys. Uh, thank you. So my name is uh, Olivier. I uh, work for a company called uh, OMA, OMA Games. Uh, we're based in uh, Paris. Uh, today I want to I wanna share a small story. Um, this is a story that we started uh, five months ago now. Uh, it's called uh, Idle World. Uh, to give you a little bit of uh, perspective of this, uh, of this game and of the company, uh, I'll go through some, uh, some numbers first and then uh, potentially uh, go into details with uh, one or two aspects of the, of the game and action that we did to improve this game. Of course, there is a lot of work uh, done by our team, done by the developer that is working with us, but I, I wanted to focus on some really specific KPIs that, are, that uh, makes uh, sense for us. Um, so. Yep, so either word, a uh, few numbers uh, and few information So for this uh, game. So basically uh, at OMA, uh, we uh, usually partner with the external developers. We are a publisher uh, only focus on hyper casual, puzzle and uh, idle. We split that because it makes a lot of sense for us uh, on a post publication of the game. There is a lot of things that, are, that differ from hyper casual to, uh, to idle in the, in the processes that we implemented. Um, so for this game, we, uh, we, we basically partner with, uh, with a studio called uh, Fencel, which is based in India. Uh, there is uh, three devs that uh, work with us. To give you another number on our side, uh, OMA Games is a company that we started uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, we have uh, 20 employees now. Uh, and basically, we uh, create, and I will talk about it later, we create a squad dedicated uh, to, uh, their, um, basically to their company so we can allocate time and the right resources to move uh, a game from a, a simple prototype to a, a game which is uh, today uh, 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 making uh, uh, actually a couple of million of, of downloads uh, and also revenue uh, for the company. So we published the game on May 1st this year. Uh, we are working with three devs uh, on their side and they are based in India. Just uh, a, little bit, a little bit of background on this. Few numbers, so it's been five months now. Uh, funny things, we'll come back to it, but uh, we've launched the game under uh, 12 day. It sounds uh, big for some people, it sounds uh, small for others, but uh, it makes uh, the story uh, very different inside the company. It uh, rush, rushes like a lot of things, especially for an idol, which is a game which is pretty heavy for, heavy for us. And as of today, there is uh, 8 million uh, uh, installed. So, a little, uh, little gift here. Uh, it's, it's what we call the starter pack. Uh, for idle uh, games in the company. So basically it's a, it's a bit aggressive in the way it is here, but it's basically the mood where the squad, the company at, uh, at OMA were in during those 12 days. So basically you have all those people in squad that are gonna take care of everything. So of course IEP taking care of the partners, I've seen uh, RVs, so rewarded videos, and of course the, 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 the very famous for us, uh, retention rate uh, higher than 60% for, uh, for the launch of an idle game. Oops. Uh, yeah, a little bit of details for the starter pack for us uh, to give you a little bit of background if, uh, if, uh, if, if you don't know uh, what we need uh, at OMA to uh, have a game which is successful and idle. Of course, uh, depending on the games, and I, I think my friends from uh, Colibri had a way better percentage of in-app purchases than us, it really depends on idle to idle to idle, but you have the sweet spots depending on your audience and your games to find regarding the percentage of revenue you're gonna make out of rewarded video uh, and, and re revenue you're gonna make out of in-app purchases. First, there was a, a very, very, uh, very interesting, uh, to, to give you a little bit of numbers, we were around like 70% of ads, rewarded video, and 30% of IP. I guess this is something that might be a very, very, uh, 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 low in terms of uh, IEP for some developers, but for us that was pretty good uh, given, the, uh, given the revenue we were making out of ads. Uh, rewarded vi uh, uh, retention rate day one higher than 60%, a lot of rewarded video of course, uh, not only focusing on the, on the revenue but also on the user, how you can get and give content, extra content to the users out of those uh, um, uh, possibilities to get, uh, I mean, out of those rewarded video basically. Uh, small things, funny thing is the customer support. We are handling now in the company at OMA. Um, I think we've published more than, uh, more than 12 games now uh, under a year and a half, but there is a majority of them for now that are hyper casual. We've, we're, we've done like two to three games on idle. And there is something to know is that the customer support need to be way bigger on uh, idle because people are more, um, I would say, uh, 
uh, basically they, 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 they really care uh, about the contents and, uh, and, and basically we receive like 10 times more emails than, uh, than, uh, than our basic hyper casual games that we published. Uh, a lot of uh, killing partners, of course, that you need to prepare during those 12 days uh, with their SDK, with their different partnership that you have with them. I've, I've, I've quote one of them, which is Game Analytics. And strong fingers, uh, this is something which is very important because we do QA uh, in-house. Uh, and basically, it uh, leads to a lot of uh, hours where we were uh, tapping and, uh, and trying to get uh, the end of the game uh, ourselves and also checking everything. So this is a small uh, starter pack that we need if tomorrow we will work together on an idol. Now I want to focus on, on two things together today uh, on idol, uh, uh, especially for idol world. Um, the way we tried to improve uh, through data and, uh, and, uh, and, and A-B testing, uh, the number of rewarded video we're getting per user uh, per session, and yeah, user per session basically. Um, so we'll, we'll follow this curve. Um, but basically, I want you to focus on this uh, small, um, how can we call it, alliance um, that is passing the, 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 the screen. Basically, this is something that we call internally random uh, rewarded video. This is something that is pretty well known. And this is something that we wanted at the, right at the beginning to focus on because there was one of the best um, um, drive, uh, driver to a rewarded video for us. So driver of uh, revenue. Uh, and basically what we did with, uh, with it is that uh, we did a lot of A-B testing on different um, um, aspects uh, and different yeah, metrics of this rewarded video, uh, random rewarded video. The first one, it was the frequency, of course. The, first, the second one was the speed. Third one was the, also the icon, like the content, uh, but also the content that you were getting. So out of it, I mean, there was four examples, I think we can quote way more, but out of one single small things, there is many, many things that you can actually uh, A-B test and also uh, try to get this famous uh, sweet spot. So this is what we've done. So uh, right at the beginning, we just added it, which is something uh, pretty simple. But what we added it, we just added this, um, these new things, but we implemented different variables that we can play with with the number of people uh, that we're reaching out. So remember, we started the first uh, May 1st. Uh, and uh, when we added it, like a few, few days after, we should have done before, but I told you it was, it was, it was quick. So we, have, we added it and then directly, and that was in the updates, uh, the major uh, 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 piece of content. So it's drastically, uh, it's directly uh, uh, impacting the, 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 the number of rewarded video per, per user, uh, per session. And then uh, happened like, let's say 10, 10 days where we've, we've done several things. So first we did this A-B testing, which was Again, I mentioned it based on the frequency, based on the content we were providing, based on the, um, uh, the speed, uh, and based on the, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's many, I think, at the beginning. Uh, and plus, we added uh, what is called the Sun Upgrade, something that you will see right on the top uh, corner here, which is another uh, way, or wh which was the first way to click and to also implement those, this clicker mechanic in the game. And after this, uh, let's say, 10 days, we uh, got two, I think, winner out of the A-B testing, uh, regarding the frequency, the speed, but basically out of the different, uh, um, uh, different path uh, in the A-B test that we did, two was, uh, was winning. So then we choose to, uh, to dig into those two and we implement them. And right after the implementation, plus of course the sun, we, we've seen like, again, an, an increase which, has, which was very important for us because as you see, if you jump from 1.3, let's say, to 2.2, let's say, uh, it's drastic in terms of revenue that you're making per, per, per session, per user. So that is the first, uh, first things I want you to talk to. Second thing uh, is the in-app purchases. So again, uh, there is no revolution here. I, I'm just sharing what we've done, what we've learned. I'm, uh, I'm happy uh, uh, to, to discuss that right after, but what we've done is that the store uh, was uh, at the beginning pretty, si pretty simple. Of course, we added a lot of content, and what we've done is that, again, we play with the content inside of it. So, and, and, and the, also the, um, uh, the places of, of those different deals that you have. So we add some content, we add a new planet, so then a new opportunity for uh, players to uh, get more content so they could pay for. Uh, we added some, uh, you know, some small logo where they can get their 50% uh, off, but also the best deals. These, these are small things, but uh, trust me, it has like a direct impact. 
And basically, when we focused on this, that was in parallel of the, uh, of, of the launch during the first months, there was drastic uh, the improvements that we were seeing, uh, which was related to the average revenue per paying user. So basically, uh, what we were seeing is that those users were spending a little bit more, not because we're hiring the price, but potentially because maybe they, they, they were buying more things, different items, but also potentially like the items that would bring more value to them. So uh, I'm talking about the Unlock Mars, which was something really su successful for us because we lead, we managed to get those users going from the beginning of the planet to the end of the planet. So then they were looking for uh, other piece of content. Second matrix. Uh, then there is just like um, uh, an overview of how you, when you optimize based on the content you can provide to the, 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 the users, uh, how it can impact uh, the session time. So we believe, so talking, the, talking about the median session time, uh, we believe that uh, without touching anything else, uh, this has a drastic impact and you can, I mean, by the time. And you can note, of course, uh, that uh, Android versus iOS, it's quite impressive the difference of um, uh, time that you have uh, between those two, uh, two different OS. A um, little, bit, uh, little bit of a background now of, uh, of the company. So we are backed by a company which is uh, 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 coming from the ad tech industry. So there is a huge mindset, uh, of course, on the ads uh, and on the way we optimize them. But there is also a huge... Um, uh, focus on the way we, uh, um, uh, I would say, thought uh, data and, and collect data and also uh, take the most out of it. Uh, why I'm telling you this is that uh, in every single, um, I would say, uh, processes that we have in the company, talking about the rewarded video and then uh, store optimization and here creative, uh, it's all related about like uh, different options that we put on the table, we optimize, and then uh, data gonna, gonna gonna make the choices. So here, uh, pretty pretty simple examples. We make a lot of iteration on, on creatives. Um, here is one that uh, started with uh, different, uh, I would say, different uh, formats of ads. So here you call to action. Uh, here uh, VS ads that we that are pretty well known on Idol or, or Hyper Casual. And here I uh, remember that this one has a very nice music, uh, where you can see on a very, I would say, um, a very sp I mean, in a video which is very speed. Uh, you can see like the evolution of the game and what you can do, which was obviously at the beginning at, at scale, uh, the one that was providing the best CTR, and not only the CTR, I will show you later, but uh, also the revenue uh, straight coming from the users that were watching the ads. We're not, of course, watching uh, uh, the result based on number of clicks, also uh, install, install uh, rights, the cost of this install, and also what these users that comes from these ads, um, what was the performance of this user? I'll show, I'll, show you this, I'll show you this later. And then when there is a winner, uh, we expand it in, uh, usually we do 12 to 13 different languages in terms of creatives. So here, just to show you uh, uh, that we move on and we try to do uh, at scale, uh, those creative and translate them. Um, yeah. That's, that's mainly for this. Yeah, a little bit of uh, background. I, I just took a screenshot of our database. Um, basically, we go uh, really deep into those uh, creative analysis, and as you can see, we even created our own score. Um, so in this slide, you won't see any crazy information. It's just that how we tackle this topic. So it's on, based on app, then on creative, and on campaign, and then we allocate like a certain IPM, CTR, CVR, and then you see that we allocate our own score. So it's a kind of a secret sauce at uh, OMA. We basically did some calculation, including what I've just explained you. So not only the CTR, not only the CPI, not only uh, basically the retention that the users that uh, is coming into the app is providing, but we go further. And then we try to see what's, what's relevant. Of course, the first line, the score is super high. The most interesting ones are in the middle where you see volumes. There is, let's say, 400 or uh, 4,000, sorry, uh, 1,000 installs. A um, little bit of uh, uh, promotion for Snap, but it's, uh, uh, and I'm happy that we have uh, one person from Snap here, Philip, uh, but th that's reality. Um, Snap have been uh, uh, very interesting for this game. Uh, uh, basically, it was uh, outside of our expectation. It's worth mentioning when uh, we, you guys, I mean, when I was preparing this and trying to uh, put something on the, on the table, one of the things that was interesting for this game is also how the audience on Snap was uh, receptive. And you can see it uh, with 
acidic numbers. Overall, globally, CPI was 12% uh, lower. Uh, it represents, for the last five months, 24% uh, of our EU investment, which is quite big when you know that the company is investing in, let's say, I don't have the right number, but let's say uh, 12 to 13 uh, uh, networks actively. And then in, re in the retention, they won in day seven per source, which was very interesting also. The users are engaged, way more engaged than the organic and the, other, the median of the other networks. Quick, uh, quick learning. Oh, sorry, I said uh, worldwide there was uh, iOS, uh, US. Sorry about that. Uh, I was talking about the squads before. This is something really, really interesting because it goes back to uh, the, um, the value of the company and uh, how we want to place the company in the ecosystem of publisher uh, uh, on hyper casual puzzle and, and, uh, and idle. So there is two things that really matter for us. It's I explain you the data, you've, you've seen it, and there is also the care and also the, by the care, there is also the relationship that you create with the developers. Um, as a publisher, you're gonna, with our friends from Funcell, you're gonna spend maybe for this game, we believe uh, 18 to 24 months uh, making revenue out of, out, out of this game. And it's almost like a HR interview that you make uh, at the right at the beginning of the process because you know that if the game is successful, you're gonna, you're gonna sp I mean, the first days, uh, you're gonna spend like a lot of time with them uh, and, and, and during two years, at least like five to 10 hours per week with them. So this is why we created the squads uh, internally to allocate so they can know really who are the point of contacts and to make sure that they understand that there is human, there is not only one guy and then it's like black box. So it's quite in the company today. So Oma is publishing, just so you know, one games per month since the beginning. Uh, starting the end of the year, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, do two, year, two games per month, sorry. And it's why it's clearer for internally first, but also externally, to make sure that all the developers know which squad they have. It's quite cool as well because developers can compare. We have a Slack with all the developers. They can compare, oh, which squad you have. Oh, I have Olivier, he's, he's not that good, but he's cool, uh, stuff like that. Basically, this is really something that we matter and that uh, I really focused because uh, at the end of the day, we believe four uh, different uh, jobs are needed here. Uh, to make things, things happen. And for either world, I believe those, uh, uh, the, 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 the squad work, uh, work pretty well. So this, is, this is a quick snap on the, on the organization. And yeah, that was a quick picture we took, uh, I think, uh, beginning of the year. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Let us know if you have any question. There is, uh, so I'm not alone, there is John, which is here. If you have any question, then we're super happy to make it uh, everything clear. Thank you.